have our measurements, we have them entered, a uh, few things to look at. Okay, now one is I'm just going off your uh, hourly sell rate of $55 an hour. In fact, the range is anywhere between 40 up to $75 across the United States. Now in uh, New York City, Boston markets, uh, those greater city markets, you're at 75 an hour, along with Seattle and some of the greater Northwest Pacific markets. And then down again in um, Los Angeles and in San Diego, they're at 75. But the rest of the country, uh, not going to be that high. In fact, in the Southeast, you're looking at around $45 an hour. Um, and then in all the major cities throughout the Midwest, uh, you're probably at 55 55 60 dollars an hour and so i'm going to go with 55 here and then i'm going to go with average labor with burden with about 20 and you can adjust this and this is going to be really cool and you're going to be able to see too how that if you just raise your hourly sell rate uh what that's going to do for your profits because in this sheet it's going to tell you exactly it says there's errors because we don't have measurements but it's going to tell you exactly how much profit you're making so if it's less than 40%, that's really bad. You need to be making at least 40% to build a sustainable business, okay? And now if your gross profit is 50% or more, that is a grand slam. That's winner, winner, chicken dinner. Many businesses are doing it. They typically been in business for a while. They provide great customer service. They do a great job at staying top of mind and um, in getting referrals and repeat clients, okay? But we have to work up to that. So. A lot of times when we start a business, we generate leads from the internet. So for, for, from the internet, you know, we got to start at the $40, $50 and then earn our way up. So here it is. We put these in and we're working with those. So now we're going to go to the number of coats. And over here, let's say uh, two coats on the walls. And now this section, you just want to put an X in. Okay. And so I'm going to drag that down to save time. There's some X's. Okay. And so if we come back to the measure, look at that, 10,267. So if you wanted to line item this form, you just take a quick note right here, 10, 2, 6, 7, point 29. Okay. And then uh, I'll open that up a little bit. There we go. So just make a quick note, walls only, right? Okay. Now, what if uh, ceilings? One quote on the ceiling. And then I'm just going to copy this here. Paste that there. Let's go back to our measure and see what we have. Well, look at this. So now we're going to say that equals, um, this equals 11073.74. Take away 10267.29. Okay, there's the cost for ceilings. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, what if they would also like the uh, doors, frames, right, and uh, baseboards? Yeah. Doors, frames, and baseboards. Okay. Paste those there. Paste those there. Paste those there. Whoops. Up here, you want number of coats. Excuse me. All right. Let's assume that's the case. So if you want uh, doors, frames, and baseboards. Now, doors and frames are separated because in the northern states, many of the door frames are stained. In the southern states, and even out in uh, California, a lot of the frames are painted. And so that's why we have them separated. So we go back to our measure. Now we're at like 12, seven, right? So now we're going to say this equals one, two, seven, oh, one point five. Take away the two numbers above, eight, oh, six point forty five. Take away one, oh, two, six, seven point twenty nine. Okay, now watch this. At the end of the video, I'm going to show you how to show them the exact um, hours it's going to take to paint it, which impresses the pants off of them and uh, uh, makes a big deal and helps you to win more bids. Okay, so let's take a look at spread rates and costs real quick. Now, here is where you enter the spread rate of the paint. So a gallon of paint, uh, the first coat is going to go 300 feet per gallon. This varies. It depends on the surface you're going over, right? Is it a smooth wall? If it's a smooth wall, it's going to go further. And it depends on the type of paint you're using. Some paint's high bodied and doesn't go as far. Uh, some paint's a little bit thinner and goes much further, right? So you can adjust this according to the typical type of walls you paint and the type of paint you use. These are just some averages right here. So first coat, uh, you might get 300 feet a gallon. And then the second coat, and additional coats, you might get 400 feet a gallon. 
I'm going with the price of paying of around $50. Now adjust this to whatever you actually pay. However, when you do, make sure you include the tax with the cost of your paint, okay? Next, we have production rates. This here is just a guideline. You can adjust them according to how fast you guys produce or how slow and uh, depending on the work you're doing. So this is going to vary, um, you know, residential repaints, how, how much furniture is in there. Do you have to hassle with the animals? Hopefully not, right? Are there kids running around? These are some factors you want to consider. They're going to slow it down. And so you want to make sure that you are covered for that. And so, you know, like maybe it's 125 feet, 125 uh, feet per hour, which is actually a good rate, 125 feet per hour. Um, <clears throat> then we have a factor here of 25%. That factor will make the difference of slow and fast when you update it later. Like for example, 50, see how it moves all those for you? But we're going to leave 25 in there. And then you go to your material. It's going to lay out all your material for you. Okay. And down here, this is just for information. Don't change anything. All right. It's just showing you your quantities. All right. Now we go to the speed. And here's where you can update the speed. And you can say, you know what? Um, maybe the, maybe, you know, we're going to go really fast on the walls. And so you can, you can change that. And then at the very end, there it is. You've got your proposal. You can print this out. Okay. It's got the number on there. It's got the exclusions, the deposit amount. Okay. Um, and this one can't, once we made some adjustments, it came to $9,897, but let's go back to our measure. This is the most important thing. Gross profit. Are we making money? All right. I put some notes in here for you. So uh, explaining the gross profit, but the most important thing is make sure you're at least 40% gross profit. Okay. Now at the end, one of my favorite things and I mentioned this in some of the other videos is when they ask you, Hey, um, do you know about how many hours it's going to take? And I would always say, Oh, okay, let me check. And they'd say, no, I don't expect you to tell me exactly. I'm not going to hold you to it. And I say, okay. And I look down and here it is. And I'd say, Oh, 125.4 hours. Now just pause and let that sink in. And they go, whoa, right? Once they trust you in your process, all right? And they trust you when they sense that you have self-confidence, right? Like when you have self-confidence, like for example, if you can sense me presenting here that I have confidence in this, um, then you can trust this process, right? You would trust this process because you know that I, uh, I trust what I'm saying and I believe it. And when you present, and when you have confidence in your numbers, you will win more bids too. Now, again, uh, it's download these, they're free, okay? And let me see here, let me move this over. When you do, you gotta make some copies, okay? Because these are my copies, let me grab this for you. So you're gonna get access to this Google Drive folder. I have an interior bid generator, I have the exterior bid generator, and then I have the hourly sell rate, which is to help you to figure out exactly how much you should be charging per hour. It doesn't matter uh, what, what your competitors are charging. You need to know how much you have to charge to make your profit, to make your money. So make sure you get these, download them in the link below, and present more bids on spot profitably. All right, so this is Steve with DUIB Coach. I want to encourage you to continue to dream bigger, hustle smarter, You've got this. Have a great day.